Hi everyone and welcome to part 51 of my GTA VCS special vehicle guide. Now this video is going to show you how to obtain the fireproof, tipproof, potproof, exclusive colour cheaters. Now um, the process to get the cheaters or the infernuses is a lot more complicated than to get the stingers or the PCJs. Just be warned, this is probably a four star difficulty. Um, I would recommend that you have quite a lot of patience to do this because it's a lot tougher than getting the stingers. And I'll explain a bit later why it's so much tougher. Right, the first thing we need to do is get a sanking. And you can find one in this sort of area by um, Ocean Beach, sort of along this road. I'll get the sanking so I'll show you where it is. Yeah, so if you drive down a few times, you'll get it to spawn. And this is the sanking, guys. Now, when you have this car, all you need to do is just leave the island and come back. Um, the reason you have to do this is um, because um, for some reason, when you leave the island and come back, all the cars are flipped upside down at the start line. Don't ask me why this happens, it's one of the GTA quirks of nature. But um, literally just leave the island and come back. So I'll just do it now. I'll have it all on film so you can see exactly what happens. You can also leave the island and come back before you pick up the Sand King. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what vehicle you use to go back and forth. I just thought I'd just get the Sand King just so I can go straight to the location. So I'm leaving the island, and I'm going to come back again. And leaving the island, I mean getting the loading screen to come on the screen. Like that. For some reason, when you go back to the start line, the, all the cars will be flipped upside down. And this is exactly what you need to obtain these um, fireproof, tipproof, potproof, exclusive colour cheaters. The reason you have to do this is because um, there's a very weird... Um, circumstance on VCS which wasn't really present in LCS. When a racing vehicle completes one lap, all the properties are deleted. So if you obtain a vehicle after it's done one lap, then uh, the garage pretty much just eats up all the properties and it'll just be ordinary again. So what you need to do is you need to destroy the vehicle before it does one lap. So when you leave the island and come back, the cars will be flipped upside down, which means that you can push them without the race being activated. And what we're going to do is we're going to push the cheetah of our choice all the way to the beach. And we're going to destroy it in the water whilst we fail the mission. And um, it doesn't end there either, because it, there's an even more complicated thing I have to explain. But anyway, it all seems like... Um, like nonsense, but I really am serious that um, if you try and shoot the driver of the cheetah or the infernus, the driver will not fall out of the car in time for you to get back in the car. It just won't work. The car will disappear every time because you can't get into the car on time. Anyway, I'm sure you believe me now. You probably tried it a few times, but yeah. Anyway, because you can see the cars are upside down. So pick the cheetah of your choice. Um, the exclusive colours are the black and the sky blue, just like the Stingers. So I'm going to go for the black one, just for the sake of, um, you know, because I want to collect it. A good way to push the cheetah is push it from behind, because when you push it from behind, it's not going to flip back up on its wheels. If you flip the cheetah back on its wheels, the race will just start, and you failed, because the cheetah will keep on driving and you can't stop it. So if the cheetah flips up on its wheels, you might as well just restart the whole process. So um, the reason we want the Sand King is because the Sand King just pushes the cheetah really well. I don't know why, but um, it's easier to maneuver than a solid great vehicle like a truck or a coach. And it's not that bad on sand, as its name would describe the Sand King. It's a very good vehicle to use. And it's actually Gabby Boss King of Speeds method, pretty much, this. So I have to give him the thumbs up there. Right, this, this bit's annoying because there are so many damn trees in the way. You just have to take your time, be a bit careful. 
once you're on the sand then you can just go in a straight line now it's really fiddly because it's quite hard to push the cheetah in a straight line sometimes but um, you get the general gist of where to go because the sea is just in front of you just you can look on the radar as well make sure that north sign is pointing directly to the left to the west hand side as soon as the north sign is not pointing west and the car's not going the right direction so that's quite a good way you can kind of tell where you're going and also you can see the sea in front of you anyway so it's not too bad now the tricky thing is here is um, if you flip the car on its wheels and it's in the water submerged then you can actually snipe the driver out and preserve the car because the car would be destroyed in the water but I don't really take that risk because if you flip the car up now and it's not submerged perfectly in the water then it's just going to drive away and you failed so what I do is I normally just push it straight into the water like that you can even try and tip it back on its wheels but I, do, I just don't really bother because it's too difficult let's make sure it's fully submerged yeah that's good and then what you do is you just cancel the mission and the car should remain in the water just like that now what you need to do is you need to go into the water and push it out a swimming push so just push the car directly towards the coast yeah for some reason when the car's upside down it's really easy to push out the water compared to when it's on its wheels you see the thing is if it was on its wheels you could have sniped the driver out of it but when it's upside down you can't so what you need to do now guys is you need to push the car all the way back to the garage and um, the Climb Menace Suite is definitely the closest garage but this is going to seem like a really unpleasant task but it's not too bad because now that there's no driver in the Cheetah if you flip it up on its wheels it pushes very nicely so when you get it off the beach I recommend to flip it on its wheels and then just push it gradually so take your time don't be too aggressive because um, it might damage the car but um, yeah, just um, I'm just going to get it off the beach. I'd go towards the trees, just in the distance. You can quite easily find your way off the beach. Yeah, this stage I'd I'd rotate it onto its wheels if you can. Well, if you can't, it doesn't really matter. But it's just, it's quite nice to have it on its wheels. It means it won't slide. You can push it really easily. Yeah, when it's on its wheels, it's much easier to push. Because it just rolls. And you can control very easily what direction it moves. It won't drift. That's obviously personal choice. You don't have to flip it on its wheels, but it's just a little bit more helpful. As you can see. Right, anyway, we need to get the car back to the garage, so I'm sure you can find your way back. I'm going to keep going down this road, down here, go across this bridge, and then bang. I'll see you when I'm kind of going across this bridge. So yeah, as you can see, I'm still pushing this thing back to the garage it's a bit of a bit of an adventure yeah guys I had to restart because I actually pushed the um, cheetah off into a bush and I couldn't find it again I think it just disappeared because I was too far away from it for too long but yeah anyway make sure your garage is pretty much empty only one vehicle in maximum and then just push it in And you've just obtained a fireproof, tip-proof, pot-proof, exclusive coloured cheetah. Now I'm going to show you the properties now. Right, let me just find a spot where I'm not going to get arrested by the stupid police. Ah, this place is too crowded. 
Right, here's a good place. Right. Pot proof test. And as you can see, fireproof. Right, for the tip proof test, I'm going to use this ramp here. There we go. Right, as you can see, it's a tip proof cheater. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this worked for you. Um, if not, then just keep trying, that's all I can say. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.